Hey, creative weirdos. Today, we're going to do another script to screen with honestly one of my all time favorite films, Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl from 2015. This film is very close to my heart as it dives into very deep themes and very honestly, very close to me. And it always kind of hard to watch because it kind of hits home and um i wanted to include this film because it's it's always beautiful it, it really gets to you honestly it's funny smart coming of age but also family life death and all those other aspects so it's go check it out i i saw this movie when it came out in 2015 and honestly yeah it's it's it it it's hard to watch, but I always want to watch it and I always want to share it with other people. So we're going to look at the inciting incident where Greg, the lead, is forced to talk to Rachel, played by Olivia Cook. If you guys know Olivia Cook, she is from the House of the Dragon. So let's dive into this beautiful, quirky, sad, sad film. Honestly, fucking beautiful. Please go watch it. Hey, it's Greg Gaines. Hi. You. So, I called the doctor. He said you needed a prescription for Gregasil. What's that? Uh, it's me. <laughs> In comedian gel tab form. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So I guess you heard I'm sick. Yeah. Did my mom tell you? Um, well, my mom told me. Oh. So, um... What? What? What were you gonna say? Um... Greg, what? Uh, yeah, I was just calling to see if you wanted to hang out. Right now? Um, sure. No, thanks. Oh. Okay, so you don't want to hang out? No, uh, thanks anyways. Okay, um, uh, bye. Bye. Mom, what are you doing? Okay, Mom, listen, she doesn't want to see me. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, Gregory, that you do not have a choice second. in this particular Mom, matter. Please, just let me say one thing. Oh my God, please to make just let me say one thing. There's a very real difference thing, in Mom. someone's life, and if Jeez. what you're choosing instead of that is to lie around you know, the house all day like a dead see me. slug, then I will be we're required to step in Mom, we're not and even inform friends. you that that is 100% oh unacceptable. Your non-stop stream of words is making me freak out. And if you think that all these excuses you're making are in any way better or more important than the happiness of a girl with cancer, a friend with cancer, you are sadly mistaken, my friend. You are going to pick up that phone, you are going to call Rachel again. You are going to. You are going to. So as you can see in this film, the inciting incident is that moment where he calls her and she has been diagnosed with leukemia. This revelation comes when Greg's mother obviously insists, as you can see towards the end, to visit Rachel, whom he really hasn't been close with. And if you watch the film, you'll see why he's kind of an, I don't want to ruin it, but he's, yeah, it's very beautiful. Uh, this moment is crucial because it sets the entire plot in motion. Greg's initial reluctance to visit Rachel and his mom's, you know, pushing him to spend time with her. And subsequently, I'm not going to ruin it, but make, eh, why not? And make a film are driven by this news. It changes the course of this senior year and transforms his emotional journey throughout the film. Honestly, like it's, it's one of those moments that it's soft. It's not too punchy, but it means a lot. Once you watch the full film, this this moment means a lot. And it's the way it was written, the way it was portrayed. Honestly, it's it's, it's very nice because as humans, like it's not always go, go, go. People, you know, are reluctant to do things. People get depressed and all those other aspects. But check out this film. It's beautiful. And in the story structure aspect, it is the inciting incident. So till next time, weirdos, peace out. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the bell notification for more creative and educational content every week. 
or if you need help with your upcoming film or story projects, check out our website and our new guided story structure notebooks that help make plotting your scripts and stories a breeze.